All right, next question, we want to answer what is a nonpolar covalent bond. And so to answer this, we need to think of what a covalent bond is in the first place. And covalent bonds are created by um, sharing of electrons. And so So the electrons are at a point that is practically right between the two atoms, then what you're going to have is a nonpolar bond. So nonpolar is when sharing is roughly equal. And then that means that polar is when sharing is not equal. How you can tell um, how much sharing is going on will be entirely dependent on the electronegativity of bonding atoms. And so just to define electronegativity to jog your memory, that would be the tendency of an atom to attract electrons to it. And so now a good example would be in the oxygen covalent bond. Because they're the same, they have the same electronegativity, so they tend to pull electrons to themselves equally, which means that indeed the electrons will be shared equally. So this would be a good example of a nonpolar bond. But now in the case of water, where oxygen has a very high electronegativity while hydrogen's is lower, um, that means that oxygen will tend to pull the electrons more towards itself than the hydrogens, and that would cause the ele the um, electrons to be shared non-equally. So they're going to be closer to the oxygen than the hydrogen. What is that? What that is going to cause is partial charges on both of them. So the oxygen will gain a partial negative charge just because the electrons are closer to it, and the hydrogen will gain a partial positive charge because the electrons are further from it. And so this will be a polar bond. All of this can be well described with um, electronegativity. And so if the difference in electronegativity is over 1.7, you're going to get an ionic bond. So that means the electrons will just straight up be taken away from the less um, electronegative one, and you're going to get ions. If the, electron if the difference in electronegativity between the two is between 1.7, and 0 0.4, you're going to get a polar covalent bond. And so that would be like water. And then in the scenario where the difference in electronegativity is under 0 0.4, you're going to get a non-polar covalent bond. And so that is like in the scenario of um, O2, where the difference in electronegativity is zero, which is less than 0 0.4, so you have a nonpolar. So that's what I meant by the roughly equal, because you're allowed a difference of 0 0.4. And that is going to be your final answer.